Hi, and welcome to another week of encouraging word, brief words of encouragement from the Bible each day. We're so glad you've joined us. I'm Dave, and I am in snowy springtime Killarney, Manitoba. We had a dump of snow last week and then yesterday again, and we're expecting more snow this week, but it is springtime. And uh, uh, farmers are all telling me that the moisture is good for the soil, so we'll take it as that. Elaine and I are heading into Winnipeg today. Uh, we're going to be attending the Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario District Conference of the Pentecostal Assemblies. And uh, they say they're expecting snow there too, so we just can't get away from it. This week we're following up on yesterday's message in church, which talked about a surprising Jesus. The resurrection story came as a complete surprise to most of the people that were involved. Uh, the disciples, the women who went to the tomb, uh, everybody really didn't expect Jesus to rise from the dead, even though he told them he was going to. He said, I'm going to die and in three days I'll rise again. But they never fully understood that and they never fully expected it, except for the leaders of the Jews. They seemed to think that uh, the the disciples might plot to um, uh, foist a, a, a program or a, a, a scam on people, but it, it never worked that way. The disciples were constantly um, surprised. He showed up uh, after his crucifixion many times, and I'm, I'm sure the first thought in the mind of many people was, aren't you supposed to be dead? Like, we saw you die. How, how is it that you're alive now? So Jesus constantly surprised people after his death, but even throughout his ministry, uh, Jesus was constantly surprising people. Uh, people never expected the Messiah to be like Jesus. And um, one of the things was who he hung out with, the people that associated with him. Matthew eleven nineteen says, The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors, and sinners. People did not expect the Messiah to be like that. One of his disciples was a tax collector. He went to the house of the chief tax collector who was known for his stealing. He was a scam artist. He went to the home of Zacchaeus. He was a ripoff artist and you would think he, Jesus would have nothing to do with him, but Jesus spent time with him. And of course, there's the fisherman and there's a rabble rouser called Simon who belonged to a party that advocated the violent overthrow of the Roman government. I mean, there was doesn't seem to be a single scholar or religious leader who publicly endorsed Jesus' ministry. They may have done so on the sly, but they didn't do so publicly. You know, last night I heard... Uh, a singer sing Garth Brooks' uh, famous song, Friends in Low Places. And I thought, man, that could really be Jesus' theme song. Jesus' friends were people from low places. And frankly, that is still true. If you think you've got it made, and if you think somehow you deserve something or that you're someone special, you may be surprised by Jesus. Uh, the Bible says that we need to humble ourselves before the Lord, and in due time, he will lift us up. Uh, if you think you're always right and everyone else is wrong, uh, be careful. You may be surprised by Jesus. Uh, if you don't humble yourself, God can do it for you. Uh, Luke 24 records an interesting account where it says there, when Jesus noticed how guests picked the places of honor at the table of a, of a wedding, at the feast, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honor for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both you, uh, both of you will welcome you and he will say to you, give this person your seat. And then humiliated, you'll have to take the least important place. But when you're invited, take the lowest place that when your host comes, he'll say to you, friend, move up to a better place. Then you'll be honored in the presence of all the other guests. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be, exal will be exalted. Um, Jesus likes people from low places uh, so that he can lift them up. 
Uh, the Apostle Paul is rehashing the history of the Corinthian church, and he, he says some interesting things about how their church got started. He says, brothers and sisters, think of what you were before you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that none of you may boast before him. It's because of him that you are in Christ Jesus. You know, that's not something you're going to read about in the church history anniversary book. Uh, but that's the truth. Frankly, I'm glad that Jesus makes friends with people in low places, aren't you? Uh, he did it for me. He'll do it for you as well. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much. You care for us and love us. You reach out not only to people in high positions, but you reach to people in the very lowest of positions. And we thank you, God, so much for that. You care for us. You love us. In due time, you lift us up as we humble ourselves before you. And so I pray your blessing upon your people today. Father, I pray that you would help Help us to have the mind of Jesus as we deal with people, not be impressed necessarily by who people are. But God, uh, we thank you for the people that you um, bring our way, that we can love them and care for them and show them your kindness just as you did. And so I thank you, God, so much for your grace. I so much thank you so much for your love. And I pray your blessing upon your people today. In Jesus name we ask it. Amen. Hey, I trust you're encouraged today. I'm a friend of Jesus and I come from low places. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful for that. God bless you. Have a great day. Uh, God willing, we will be back tomorrow from Winnipeg uh, uh, at our district conference. God bless. Have a great day.